Welcome back to Chatter on the Wire. Let's see what trouble I got myself into this week. So the first thing anyone asks when I tell them that I do a lot of melting of aluminum is what I'm going to do with all those ingots. Well, I have a CNC, I have some foam, and I enjoy to shoot. And currently in the U.S., in most states at least, it is legal to make your own uh, lower receiver for an AR. So I decided I'd start and see what this would be like. So in this one here I actually did cut out the piece. I'm about three millimeters thick on this. I haven't decided if I'm going to cut that out with the CNC or how exactly I'm going to do that. But anyways, this is one of the first versions I made. Um, let's see. Must be the right hand side of it. Um, but actually this one was screwed up. It really should have been the left if I recall correctly uh, based on how I did it. So Second version, got it done a little better, but you'll notice it's still shiny up here because it didn't cut down deep enough. So played more with the settings. This one's actually smooth all the way down and it cut down a little farther. The problem is I gotta figure out how to cut this out here. Didn't get too far on that. The other side on probably version two or three of this, but notice it's completely flat here. Not sure what happened with the settings there should have been rounded like this. So anyways, that's the plan to make a, I don't know, 40% AR lower receiver. It all depends though on what the ATF decides to do here on uh, their take on uh, whether these are con continuing to be legal or not. So that is coming up in the next week or so that they'll make their ruling on that and we'll see. But just as a little uh, hint that, you know, this is great all for that 20% or so. What happens if I actually want to make a mold that you can actually put it in and pour it directly? So this was version one. Notice I had no cuts in here for how I was going to feed metal into it. So I X'd out a few places, played with it a bit more. Version two, there's actually... Um, the idea is this is running all the way through it for a sand mold uh, to go into this afterwards that will fill out the piece here and you notice even down here so that mold can go all the way through the sand, um, what is that called, uh, core. We'll go in there, feed through there. Um, I didn't have this cut out because of the Fusion 360 model or the CAD model I had and so I played a little more. And we came up with version three. It actually has a base to be fed here. It'll roll down in, feed from the bottom, push back up through. Um, this still isn't quite perfect, though it does even have the piece that'll come down here so you can drill a hole and attach a piece in there if you need. And I even have the other side. And of course, if I do this, I'm still gonna have to have another one to make the sand core. And I'm not sure where those are. They're around here somewhere, but this is all on hold while I wait to see what the ATF does here in the U.S. and how this will potentially affect this before I work anymore on these with my lost foam casting. Anyways, one of those things you can do out there if you've uh, melted down a whole bunch of aluminum nuggets and if you're into something like this. Well, that's it for this installment. Please think about hitting the like button, subscribing if you aren't already, and clicking on one of the other videos. See you in the next one.